Hey, this is Bill with Imaging Spectrum, and I know I've already done a video fairly recently about the new firmware upgrade for the DNP620 printer. It went from 4.31 to 4.33. However, 4.52 is out now, so I do want to show how to upgrade that firmware. It's very similar to how you, it's the same as 4.33, but there were some questions about how to install firmware. So I wanted to just go over the whole thing. Just to let you know some changes in 4.52, and they're not huge. Um, improvement to the printer initialization sequence, uh, changes uh, the ribbon tension when using 5x7 media, uh, change to the energy applied during matte printing, uh, the clear uh, overcoat layer, and changes of the printing speed slightly in high humidity. Uh, conditions. So those are the four changes that they talk about in this one. It also has all the other firmware upgrades that it's ever had. So if you've got 1.52 or whatever, it will upgrade it to the to the current one. So anyway, so how do we get the firmware? All right. So what we're going to do is you go to imagingspectrum.com, okay, and you can either go over menu here or you can come over here, but click on support, okay. Go to drivers and software. Okay, and this is going to be DMP printer, so we're going to click there. That's going to take us to the page here. We're going to click on the 620 printer. I'm going to sign my life away. And then this is the new firmware, okay, 4.52. And it is not available to install on Mac yet. So we're going to do Windows. We're going to click here. We're going to download it, okay. I'm going to open the file. And remember, this comes compressed. We do want to extract the file. It will not let it install without it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and extract it. Now, I do already know the firmware on this printer, but I'm going to show you if you're not sure, if you download and install printer info, okay, and which I do have here, I'm going to click yes, and it's going to tell me that it has the 4.33 firmware on there. So we do want to definitely uh, upgrade it. So, and we are. All right, so it's downloaded. It has been uh, extracted. I know this is 64-bit computer, so I'm going to click here, okay, and Windows Paranoia, so I'm going to click more information, run anyway, all right, um, executable file, okay, it's going to come up and remind me that it does have 4.33, and then it's going to say the, ver the version it's going to install is 4.52. I'm going to click start here, and this will kind of run a little bit slow. I heard the printer click. And it'll take a little while. It takes about a minute or so to update the firmware. And uh, not an issue if it takes longer. So it's still installing. And uh, like I said, it, like I said in the old video on 4.33, this is really important with the new media. Um, you can tell the new media because it comes in like 624 by 6, comes in smaller boxes. Uh, the paper is wrapped in paper. The ribbon is wrapped in bubble wrap and not the foam that it was, okay? So you can already see that it's come up with the 4.52, and but the bars are still running across. It won't take much longer now. But again, this will install all the firmware updates that it's really ever had. This is only going one step, but uh, 4.33 to 4.52. But uh, if you do have an older one, again, it installs them all. And uh, should be finishing up in just a second. Bar just ran across again. Then after this uh, finishes, okay, so it, it's finished. It shows it here, and it also says end. So I'm going to click end, and that'll close the firmware, okay? One more check with printer info. Okay, and it definitely says 4.52 in it. So this is all ready to go. Uh, by the way, since this one was already updated, I did not remove the ribbon for it. You may want to re remove the ribbon before you update the firmware, any firmware. I just know that this one was going to be okay. So anyway, all right, uh, that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.